It's time for the second release of PHP Storm in 2017. So let's take a look at what's new in PHP Storm 2017.2. With Composer being such an important part of PHP's ecosystem, we've put some effort into improving Composer support in PHP Storm 2017.2. When you've got Composer.json open in your editor, you'll see that you can now do a Composer install or a Composer update right from within the file. We can also right click and select Composer to manage dependencies. This window now allows you to add, remove and update right from within the dependency manager. You can also keep your Composer executable up to date using self-update in the Composer menu. Your Composer.json file also contains a lot of information that can be used to configure PHP Storm. Things like the minimum PHP version and how to auto load folders and development folders. New in PHP Storm 2017.2, you can use synchronized IDE settings with Composer.json to automatically configure your IDE with the information configured with Composer. You can see that the information from Composer's autoload and autoload dev sections have automatically configured our source folder and test source folder, including the namespace. This is important for the auto creation of classes and tests and refactoring. PHP Storm has also automatically set our PHP language level based on the minimum required version in Composer.json. PHP Storm can now automatically configure our test framework setup because it knows we're using Composer. Speaking of test frameworks, we've added some improvements around PHP unit and auto run in tests. So let's take a look at that. After you've run any PHP unit test configuration, you'll notice a new button in the left hand pane marked toggle auto test. Turning this on means that after the given amount of seconds, PHP Storm will automatically run your tests when you stop typing. Great for TDD. We've also unified how you configure the test frameworks within the settings pane. Instead of having an individual entry for each test framework, you'll see we have one selection and a number of different frameworks. We've improved our Docker integration by adding support for Docker Compose. You can now add a Docker Compose remote interpreter easily as we've added an option specifically for Docker Compose in the interpreters menu. Just select the configuration YAML file and then the container service that holds your PHP interpreter. And you can use that Docker Compose Remote Interpreter in the same way as you've used any other interpreter in the past. Once configured, PHP Storm will infer the path mappings from the volume section of your Docker Compose YAML file. Anything that can use a remote interpreter will then be able to be configured with a Docker Compose container, like a PHP unit configuration in this case. We've added our usual raft of editor improvements. Let's take a look at them. We've added some new inspections, like the statement has no body inspection, which tells you if the statement you've created has an unreachable or empty body. We've added an inspection to tell you if you're trying to declare strict types in a version of PHP that doesn't support it. Here you can see the new inspection that tells us when an abstract or extended class is not compatible with an interface we're implementing. The fields declared dynamically inspection has been enabled in the constructor as well as in all the other methods. We've updated the extract to constant refactoring so that it now asks you for the visibility of the constant if you're using PHP 7.1. You'll also notice here that we now highlight this when you have it selected. Code completion is an integral part of PHP Storm, but sometimes it can be difficult to see the wood for the trees. You've been able to disable completion for extensions you don't use since the last version. In 2017.2, you can now sync extensions with the interpreter to automatically disable what you don't have installed. Of course, there are more improvements we just don't have time to mention. You can create symbols from UML diagrams, improvements to the version control integration and the find in path dialog, and you can now pause indexing. We've got our usual changes that come from the WebStorm team, including support for enhanced Webpack module resolution, importing from ESLint, and rearranging of code for JavaScript and TypeScript. There are database changes too. You can use several databases that share a Postgres data source. You can get a notification once a large query has finished running. And of course, we've added transaction control. So don't forget to upgrade to PHP Storm 2017.2. You can find more information as always at jetbrains.com slash phpstorm and more in-depth information about the new features at blog.jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.